Uh, this is Corey from LM Labs, and I'm sitting here with the electric version of the cruiser. We just got back from SEMA. These things were a huge hit. Um, the electric one here goes 23 miles an hour, goes 12 to 13 and a half miles on a charge. Um, has a headlight. It's got a pair of uh, lithium polymer batteries up here in the front. It has room for a second pair in the back, double the range. Um, speed controller is right here. It's a twist grip like on a motorcycle. Uh, brakes are regenerative, picks up about 10 to 15 percent range. If you squeeze a little, you're on regen. If you squeeze a lot, it also kicks in the front brake so you can actually come to a complete stop. Um, seat's slightly adjustable. It's a hub motor in the rear. Um, get to the batteries under these covers here that look like cylinder heads. Speed controller is here under the gas tank. So the, uh, the first cruiser that we put together was the gas powered version. Uh, which is faster and has more range to it. Um, it's also a little heavier, a little bit wider. This one's a little more minimalist. Um, the tank's very narrow, it's very open. Um, if you're riding them uh, and not using the power, this one's actually nicer to pedal because you are you don't have to kind of keep your legs clear of the engine. Um, they're both super, super fun. So the things that are still being decided, the uh, the battery system, the way these things clamp in right now, there's a screw that kind of holds it from the side. Um, we need to spend a little more time there and kind of figure out something that's a little bit better. The wiring right now for the headlight, um, it meets under the tank, so when you need to charge the batteries for the headlight, you have to kind of get your fingers under there and it's a little difficult, so we're going to look at that. The wiring for the hub motor actually comes up this bar here, um, so currently if you need to change a flat tire, uh, you need to actually clip a couple of um, zip ties to get that out. So we're looking at different ways to reroute those or put some connectors in there uh, to make the maintenance a little bit easier. But as far as looks go, this is pretty close to how they're gonna how they're gonna ship. We got a lot of good feedback to show. A lot of people loved them, wanted to buy them on the spot, so that was fun. The other thing that's neat about this version is. Um, on the gas one, you definitely know that it's powered by Skull, you can't miss it. This one's pretty stealthy. Um, only about half the people who looked at it realized what they were looking at. The rest of them just thought it was a very stylish bicycle um, because you don't immediately notice the batteries or the motor. Where, if anyone wants to participate in this project, where can they find it? On the Forge, always on the Forge.